Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and today I wanted to go through my diaper bag with you guys and talk about all my winter baby essentials that I take with me whenever I go out, which is not very often, but I do go out still. <laughs> so I have not looked through this bag. I have not prepared it for this video. I am just gonna be pulling items out and talking about them and why I have them in here. So let's get started with the side pocket. First thing in here is a <laughs> tape measure. Um, I didn't know this was in here. Josh must have put it in here. Um, we've been doing a lot of woodworking lately, so I'm just gonna move on. That's not an essential. <laughs> I also have a face mask, of course. And then nothing in this pocket. So we will go on to this top little pocket here. I have a couple things in here. I have my day-to-day -day face mask. I have a couple little bonnets for Rook. This one I made myself. This one is from Quincy May. These are nice for um, keeping Rook's ears warm. Like some of his um, like jackets have hoods on them, so I can put that on, but it doesn't keep his ears warm, so that's why I have these. I have some deodorant, which comes in real handy. I love Native. I've been using them for years. This is like the perfect size to just carry around with you. I have a tiny receipt. I have some lip balm because I'm addicted. Burt's Bees is the only way to go. I don't know why you would use a different brand. <laughs> and then I have a set of headphones. Now this is kind of new, uh, and this also isn't baby related, but I get kind of bored grocery shopping, so I started listening to podcasts while I grocery shop, and it is a game changer. It's so entertaining. Highly recommend. So that's everything in that top little pocket. I'll also put like my keys in there when I'm out. Okay, this front zipper I never use, so I don't know what's in here. Oh, a checkbook. I don't know why Josh's checkbook is in here, but I should probably give that back to him. We got a granola bar that is uh, Josh's. I don't really eat granola bars. What do I, oh, I have a spoon. Glad I found that. Don't know where it came from. Okay, I have some waste bags. I think someone gave these to me. I don't remember who gave them to me, but those are handy. Um, and then just some like wipes. I have some pads from when I still had postpartum bleeding, so I don't need those right now. I have a pen, which comes in a lot of handy. And then another granola bar and wipes. So, like I said, I don't use this pocket very often. This is a good time to organize it. So far, this hasn't been much help for winter baby advice, but we'll get there. Okay, now on to this kind of medium pocket. I know there's some good stuff in here. First of all, we have Rook's toque. He wears this pretty much every time we go out. It's basically a necessity this time of year, and so I keep it in the bag. I also have his super warm socks. So Rook likes to kick his blanket off, so having some really fuzzy socks are very important. I have a bunch of um, these disposable nursing pads that I got in like gift boxes which I don't need these anymore and I never even used them. I always used the reusable ones. So I'm gonna give these to my sister-in-law who's pregnant. I have the Oogie Bear nose picker. I've never needed this while we're out and about, but it's good to have. I have these little gloves for Rook, which come in super handy because like I said, it's cold out and he does this thing, he's very rebellious, where along with kicking his blanket off, he won't let me put his hands under the blanket. He always takes them out and just likes to have them available. But then his hands get super cold and so, he just doesn't get it. So I have little gloves for him and I use these all the time. I have a spare outfit for him, of course, because you have to, blowouts, etc. I have a spare bib, which comes in handy because some days he is very drooly. We got some socks here, in case I forget socks. Oh, we have another bonnet. That should definitely go in the top zipper. <laughs> it's good that I'm going through this. We have a newborn onesie. This uh, for sure doesn't fit my five month old. <laughs> and then I also have a newborn hat for him, so that's gonna get put away. 
I'm gonna save so much room. I have a pacifier in here. This was one of those like freebie pacifiers. Um, I put it in the bag originally just in case I had a very upset baby who needed a pacifier, but we don't use pacifiers, so I'm not gonna keep this in here. And then I have my little wet bags um, for when he has a blowout or dirty diaper that I have to change in public. This comes in handy. I guess I'll also link everything below if you're interested. Everything I can. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention this backpack, if you don't know already. This is my Fjall Raven backpack. It's not a diaper bag per se, but it does the job perfectly fine. And then I just have some hand sanitizer spray, which as you would assume, I use a lot. This is really nice because it smells like lavender. And also I bought this before the pandemic happened. So it's like good hand sanitizer, not that like gross slimy stuff that they give you nowadays. So yeah, that's everything in that zipper. And then now for the main event. In here, we have a sweater that Rook was wearing the other day and I took it off him and put it in the bag. So this needs to go back in his drawer. This is something that I've been using a lot lately. It's one of these like full body suits um, that's super fuzzy and the hands roll over. So it keeps his hands warm. You can also fold over the feet. It's a little short for Rook. So that's why I have the socks so that I can add those onto this outfit. And then, like I said, with the hood, it doesn't, like hold his ears in close and warm so we'll use the bonnet with the hood and yeah these are great for going on walks just a little PSA you shouldn't strap your baby in the car seat with this on because it's just not safe to have babies wearing jackets the seat belt doesn't get tight enough so that's why I store it in the bag so when we park I can change him and then take him out for a walk or like in the carrier this is really good I have some gloves for myself for again when I go on walks that's like mostly what I do nowadays <laughs> we have our gather mat for our change pad which is the best I love this thing so much. I have some paper towel, so I don't think I need this anymore, but we kept this in here because um, when Rook was very young, he would pee unpredictably while we're changing his diaper, of course. And it's nice to have something super absorbent to clean it up because wipes aren't really absorbent, they're wet. So I don't need these anymore, but they were pretty crucial before. I also have a burp cloth. This is just like a old rag essentially does the job and I have my nursing cover I don't use this all the time but it's nice if I'm in a restaurant to use it because sometimes you're kind of in the middle of the restaurant and you don't have your back against the wall and if you're like me and you don't like nursing in public it's nice to know that you're covered from all sides I have another bib in here which I don't need to so one of them will be staying out of the bag I have my wipes I use hello bella wipes I just find they're the best they're very well Wet, which some wipes aren't that wet. Um, they're texturized, which really helps clean. And I really love that it has the um, lid on here, not just the sticker, so you know that the moisture is staying inside. Love these. And I only have one diaper left. Oh my goodness, I have to restock this. Um, we just use Huggies. He's a size two. <laughs> So yeah, that's everything I keep in my diaper bag for the winter. And that's pretty much all we do to keep him warm. He always has a blanket on him on the car seat and that kind of does the job for us. So yeah, I hope you uh, learned something from this video. I don't know, I just shared what I have. Maybe there's something in here that you forgot to put in your diaper bag. <laughs> if you're interested in what I had in this bag while Rook was a newborn, I will link that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.